bed, sorry. <laughs> Hell's Kitchen. After the war in Vietnam wound down and my stint doing alternative service came to an end, I had to stop and take stock of my situation. I could return to Pennsylvania and get a job in a factory dealing with chemicals that fuck with your body, but I'd done that before I'd sign up for Appalachia. And it sure wasn't much fun back then, so I decided not to go that route again. Also, I was starting to think of myself as a writer, and to pursue that career, I figured I'd have to move to New York City because I'd heard that's where the publishers were. My pickup truck had thousands of miles on it and wasn't going to last much longer, but I knew I could use it for one last mission. I loaded it up with the many boxes of books I bought during my travels across the country and a bag of clothes and headed north. I drove to the Port Authority, parked and went outside to look for a newspaper. I found a copy of the Village Voice and took it back to the truck where I checked out the apartment listings. This was many years ago. <laughs> I found several, but the one that interested me the most was for a studio on 46th Street between 8th and 9th Avenues for 160 a month. Many years ago. I circled the phone number and called it from a pay phone. I managed to get an immediate appointment to check the joint out. I liked what I saw, plus I could afford it, having saved some money from my year of service. I signed a two-year lease and gave the landlord a check. I went back to the parking lot, got in my vehicle, and drove to the street in front of my new place and carried my stuff inside. I later sold my truck for almost nothing, but I didn't need it anymore. I woke up the next morning after a fitful night's sleep on the bare floor and started looking for a job but nothing went my way. Every place I applied to seemed interested at first, but as soon as I got to the point where I told them about my year in Vista, they got cold feet. I could read the equation on their faces. Community organizer equals union organizers, and nobody wanted that. The days went by and my savings were dwindling, so I started selling off parts of my library to get enough cash for food and rent. I became one of the regulars at the Strand Bookstore. And Fred, the owner's son, began to recognize me. After my third trip, he offered me a job, but as the pay was $60 a week, I said no, and continued to pound the pavement to no effect. After my fifth trip, I said yes, I was running out of books. Thank you. <laughs>